Welcome crafters! Today we are making a floral hoop wreath. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials. First, let's prepare the welcome file. First, upload the welcome calligraphy file into Design Space, which is available on our website, and then size it to fit your wreath. And then you just click make it. Make sure to have the mirror on option toggled on if you are cutting out iron on vinyl like I am using here. Set the dial to iron on and then prep your mat. Next, place the iron on vinyl onto your mat, shiny side down. Then let the Cricut cut it out. Then you will weed out the iron on vinyl, keeping the welcome wording. Be sure to weed out the insides of the letters too. Cut your fabric to fit the embroidery hoop, making sure to leave excess for when you pull the fabric tight, and then you can always just trim it later. With the hoop over the fabric, lightly place the welcome where you want it in the wreath. Then take off the embroidery hoop and heat set the iron on using an iron or a heat press according to your vinyl's directions. Typically, it's about 20 seconds for a normal iron, and then place the iron over the vinyl, wait 20 seconds without moving it, and then place it to another section for another 20 seconds until all of your design has been heated up. Now slowly peel off the clear iron-on transfer tape. I like to peel my transfer tape off once it has cooled. Now place your fabric inside your embroidery hoop and tighten it. You could put the tightening part of the hoop on top and show it, but I decided to make that section behind the floral so it won't show in my final wreath. Once the hoop is all tightened, trim off that excess fabric. It's time for my favorite part, arranging the flowers. I like to loosely place the greenery and florals on before gluing to make sure I like how it looks. Once you're ready to attach the flowers, simply hot glue them on. You could only glue them to the hoop if you wanted to change out the inside fabric as the seasons change, but my florals are directed towards spring and summer, so I also glued them directly onto the fabric as I arranged. It is also helpful to have some wire cutters handy to trim off the stems of the flowers as well. Once you have your flowers glued on, your wreath is basically all done. You can attach a hanger or hot glue some twine to the back for hanging. You could even glue on a cute bow or anything for the seasons. Endless possibilities for this adorable wreath. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me make new craft tutorials.